Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So today we are going salam. to have a uh, yes, uh, uh, revision session, and uh, that is why uh, we are going back to the topics we have covered. Yet, alhamdulillah, with the grace of Allah Almighty. And Rabbi Yassir wa la tu'assir wa tammim bil khair ya fattahu wa bik nasta'een. اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وانت تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من الجبن والبخل اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من الحزن من الهم والحزن والحجز والكسل والجبن والبخل وزلع الدين وغلبة الرجال اللهم آمين So now we are going to start الجملة العربية so this is very important uh, topic and uh, this then means the topic relates to the sentence structure in arabic like uh, i told you but i'm repeating my those words that uh, in english language like the sentence is of three types simple sentence like he goes to school or he is a student or he teaches Arabic, this is what simple sentence. If uh, the, do, the two uh, clauses are joined together uh, with fan voice, F-A-N-B-O-Y-S, these are the conjunctions. Conjunction like for, A for and, N for nor, B for but, O for uh, or, uh, Y for yet, and S for so. If two, two classes are connected together by connecting or joining with these prepositions, they are known as coordinating prepositions. The sentence becomes a compound sentence. But if two clauses are joined together uh, with uh, subordinating conjunction like because, though, and likewise, so those sentences are known as uh, complex sentences. In Arabic, we have got only two types of sentences. Number one, that is al jumla tul ismiya. And what is the essential of this sentence? The essential of this sentence is that the first word of this sentence is always a is, ismun, like at palibu, right? And then second sentence is al jumla tul fi'liyyatu. And in this sentence, the first word always becomes a verb like hadar al muallim now this is what uh, the jumlatul uh, failure now <clears throat> you also know this thing or let me ask you a question whatever the language you speak either it is arabic or urdu or any language right any language like uh, in jakarta they speak indonesian so in any language, do you think, can you make a sentence without using a verb? Anyone from you? In can Indonesia, it's always with verbs, sir. Yes. In other, other languages, what do you say? Can you make a sentence with two nouns? Brothers and sisters, are you with me? I'm asking you, can you make a sentence in any other language other than Arabic while using two isma nouns? No. No. Yes, very good. So this is what the only language on the surface of the earth, that is the language of the Quran, that is the Lisan al-Quran, or Lisan al-Arab, that this language has this, uh, what should I say, credential, that while connecting two nouns together, we can make a sentence. So this is the example in front of you. Let me tell you the example. Like, at-talibu mujtahidun. Now, at-talibu definitely is a noun, because in noun, you can have alif la. In noun, you can have tanveen. Okay, and these two words, they cannot be verb at all. Because if we mark the verb like uh, at-talib, it will be talab or uh, 
Uh, this is what Babir Ti'al, but we learned that inshallah later on. So there is means there is the only language on the surface of the earth in which we can make sentences while combining two nouns together. So let me tell you a few things very important about uh, the Jumlat al Ismiya. Number one, if the Muqtada is always Marifa, it cannot be Nakira. Always. Yes, in some situations, as we learn together, that uh, the nakira can also be a muqtada, but that comes after the khabar. That is muqtada mu'akhar. I will give you some examples uh, later on. So muqtada is always marifa, and khabar is always nakira, number one. Number two, if muqtada is mufrad, the khabar would be mufrad as well. Number two, if Muqtada is uh, Muthanna, the Khabar will be Muthanna. If the Muqtada is Jamar, then Khabar will be Jamar. If Muqtada is Jamal Muzakkar Salim, the Khabar will be Muzakkar Salim. And if the if Muthanna is Muzakkar, then Khabar will be Muthanna Muzakkar. If the uh, uh, Muqtada is Muthanna Mu'annath, the Khabar will be Muthanna uh, Mu'annath. If there is Jama taksir and Jama of Zair Ghair the Aqil, like Al Aqlamu, Al Kutubu, Al Suqufu, likewise, then the Khabar would be Monas Wahid. Sister uh, Taima, give me example of uh, Jama Ghair the Aqil. Hurry up. Kutubun. Complete sentence, sister, please. Okay. Um, uh, complete sentence. Okay. Hazel Maktabi. Sister, are you sure is the sentence correct? Or shall I ask Sister Yanti to help you out? Oh, mashallah. Al Kutubu Jadi Datun. Very good. Very good. Yes, Sister Simon, now do you come to know? Yes, I understand now. Can you can you can you correct your mistakes in both of the sentences? You still have time, doesn't matter. We make mistakes and we learn from our mistakes. Um Al Kutubu Jadidun. Jadidun? Jadidatun, sorry. And the second, no, you you said some sentences, two sentences. Hazel al kutubu. Al kutubu al al maktabi. That's what. That's the correct. That's the correct. With huruf jar, but if we bring khabar direct after muqtada, then. Hadihi. Hadihi al kutubu. Hadihi al kutubu. Very good. Because this is what Hadihi al kutubu. That is what Murakkabul Ishari. You remember? <coughs> yes, yes, do you remember? Do you remember Murakkab al -Ishari? Yes, sir. Yes. Good. Yes, sir. One class. Acha ji. <clears throat> so, uh, yes. Uh, Alhamdulillah. If if we use only Ism al -Ishara and Khabar, then please let me know. Ism al -Ishara and Khabar. Today I'll ask you men, means some things that let me tell means uh, let me know that do you remember or not? Yes. Ismail Ishara and Khabar. Yes, Sister Rashida. My sister from Hong Kong. Yes. Uh, is it me? Yes, you're Rashida Rida. What is your name? Rabia, Rabia. Okay, Rabia, sorry. Rabia Arshada. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sister. Any sentence while using Ismul Ishara 
एंड खबर वो बच्चे जो पीछे बेंच पे नहीं बैठे होते छुप रहे होते सवाल से एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली दैट्स व्हाट आई एम डूइंग जी सिस्टर साइमा गो अहेड Yes, Karen. Yes. Mashallah, yes. you're living in uh, natural life, so Mashallah, your mind is working more than others. Alhamdulillah. With the help of Sister Saima, though. <laughs> Achha, Alhamdulillah. Um, mashallah, Mashallah. May Allah bless, uh, reward her for the effort she is making with you as well. Good. Good to know that. yes you you sisters uh, should uh, keep asking each other wherever you have any problems so you should be in contact because in future you will be all inshallah teaching inshallah so any questions from uh, al jumlatul ismiya i think we have done uh, from that if you have any question you can ask me any new student who wants to ask any question please let me know al jumlatul arabiya and because uh, we have just done with uh, nouns we are not uh, we have not been uh, touching verbs anymore until now if you have question from this sentence or uh, this topic just let me know please if you have any question let me know no questions Sister Rida, do you, do you understand whatever we have been discussing? Yes, sir, I understood. Very good, very good. Okay. Sir, I have a question. Please. Sorry, I was just having problems with my mic. Um, there's a word in this chapter which I don't understand, and it's not in the um vocabulary. Duatun. Hmm. What's duatun? Yes, yes, we are going to. Uh... <coughs> Uh, on this page or second page? Um, it's um, it's on page. It's on that page, sir. Is it Dawat Dene Wala? Hmm. Yes. Duatun. Yes, yes, yes. Duatu. Yes, yes. This is actually a uh, Duatun is the jama of Da'in. Da'i is also known as Da'iyun, but uh, because of some rules, it becomes a Da'in. one who invites people maybe he is inviting towards islam may he be inviting for something so this is what da'in da'in is mufrad and du'atu du'atun is jama of that means plural da da'in as in it's got a tatayn when you say da'in ah da'in is mufrad du'atun is jama right okay Da'in, yes. Da'in is wahid, and you will learn inshallah da'in. Actually, so it's sister, not da'on. You wouldn't say da'on then with the the matain. Actually, sister, uh, let me tell you. In in verb, we will we will learn da'a yadu. That is what master or verb. Da'a dal ayn fatah da'a alif da'a yadu. This is the verb yadu yaduani yaduuna tadu taduani yaduuna. So this is what the verb, and its ism file da'in da'a yadu da'in padak madu'un. So this is what da'in is wahid. And the, okay. yes, it's uh, we will learn inshallah in verb in detail. 
So this is Da'in, yeah. the one who calls someone. Ism file. Ism file means like it's a, uh, it's a subject of the sentence, doer of the doer of an action, right? One who calls. Understand. Like, uh, let me give you example from the uh, Quran. وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا مِمَّنْ دَعَا إِلَى اللَّهِ Do you remember that verse? Can you repeat it, sir? وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا مِمَّنْ دَعَا إِلَى اللَّهِ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا وَقَالَ إِنِّي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Okay. Means uh, Allah says, whose action can be better than the one who calls to calls people towards Allah and he also do, does good deeds and he calls that I am among the Muslim. I am one among the Muslim, right? So mm -hmm. Dai has that status. Okay, so this is the Wahid Mufrad. Any other question? No? Okay. So How many huruful jara is over there? Al huruful jara. Do you remember? Yeah, I think we did about seven. 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 Seventeen. <coughs> seventeen. Seven. Seventeen. We learned, I think, only ten. They are seventeen. Eight. Okay. Okay. We learned eight. Eight. We yes, learned eight. 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 Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. <coughs> so, uh, can you tell me what is the function of huruful jara? Al harful jara. Anyone from you? Um, is it used before a noun showing a position or a time of something? Very, <coughs> very good. Any examples? Um, yeah, the very first one. Good, good, good. Yes, yes. You can give example from there. If you remember your own example, you can also quote that. Al-Tayru yeah. al-Ghusni. So Allah is showing what? The position. Position of? The Muqtada. Muqtada. And Muqtada is Al-Tayru. Al-Tayru means? Bird. Bird. Uh, translate the sentence. Yes. Um, the bird is on the branch. Very good. Very good. Okay, so Allah is what? Okay, sister, one more question. Now you must be knowing this thing. Okay. What Bismillah. is this? What we call this phrase? Alal Ghusni is Shifu Jumla Khabar because it's the preposition Harfjar and it's a Majroon straight after. Very good, very good. So At Pairu Muqtada and Alal Ghusni Shifu Jumla and that is Khabar Muqtada and Khabar Jumla Tulismiya, right? Yes. Very good. So, any problems in uh, Al Huruful Jara? Anyone? Say it the first person, Jade. Better ye jo huruf e jara hai. Chale English me me sam jade town. There are 17 Al Huruful Jara. And uh, these uh, huruf, huruf means letter, not the word. It is a letter. That letter comes before a noun. And whenever horuful means any harfajar comes before the noun, they because of the harfajar, al jara, the following noun becomes majroor. And the uh, definitely sign of jar with the mufrad is either kasra or kasratain, right? And if this harfajar comes before muthanna, it also becomes majroor like alat tale baini or ilat tale baini. Now you know that what is the identification mark for the majroor in case of muthanna? Ya ma qabal fatha. Before ya, there is fatha, tale baini. Okay. If this word uh, uh, it comes like atullabu. Uh, Zahibuna ilal aswaqi. Ilal aswaqi. Suqan is what? Wahid al mufrad Or suqani and aswaqun. Aswaq is jama'. Now, at talibuna, zahibuna ilal aswaqi. And say, for example, 
Sallam tu alal muslimin. Alal muslimin. Now muslimin is what? Jama muzakkar salim. And that becomes majroor. And what is the identification of jar of jama muzakkar salim? That ya ma qabal kasra. Muslimin. So this is what majroor. So this harf jar that comes before a noun and the following noun because of the harf jar it becomes majroor. And the harf jar with its noun it becomes what? Shibul jumla. And shibul jumla becomes a khabar in case of if the mubtada comes to, uh, in the, I mean, uh, uh, first, uh, it becomes in the beginning of the sentence, like in these examples. A tayr al gusni, Aishatu al qamari. Al Maktabum al Hashabi, a Talibu fil Pasli, a Sayyaratul Zaydin. If the harfajar and noun that comes before the sentence, then what does it become? Do you remember? If the harfajar and the noun following uh, the harfajar comes at the beginning of the sentence, then what it, it becomes? Khabar Muqaddam. Very good. It becomes Khabar Muqaddam. And the following noun. Maybe Nakira, that becomes Muqtada Mokhar. Muqtada Mokhar. Very good, very good. Any examples of your own? Can I try? Yes, please. Li Zaydi Ukhtun. Is that correct? Very good. Li Zaydin Ukhtun. Zaydin. Okay. Li Zaydin Ukhtun. Very good. Any other sentence? Yes, sister. Any other sentence? But you have to tell me what is your name? G. I have to tell you what is your name. I have to tell you what is your to tell you what is your name. No, sir. I have to tell you what is your name. I have to tell you what is your name. I have to tell you what is Inshallah, sir. Okay. Inshallah, inshallah. So uh, let me. This, these are the examples that harf uh, jar comes before Muthanna. Al kutubu litali baini. Now I told you what is the identification that ya ma qabal fatha lit pali baini. Now because of harf jar, it is majroor. It's very visible. Bahastu an tiflaini, al auladu fil warfataini, Zaytun wasalimun ka ahuaini, at tiflanu, tiflani na imani alas sari raini, al rejalu musafiruna ilal pariataini. Okay? So uh, this is done. Now then definitely we, we are uh, means uh, uh, coming to that that becomes Jama Mazakkar Salim. As salamu alal mursalina. Ya ma qabal kasra. Zahabtu ila al muftina. Khalidun min al salihin. Al buyutu lil muallimina. La khaira fil mubtadaina. Okay, so uh, this is what the uh, about the means the harf jar, al huruf jar, huruf al jarra that comes before Jama Muzakkar Salim. And definitely before Jama Munas Salim, if it comes, then the identification mark is either there is kasra or kasratain. Like al baraqi'u lil banati, lil banati. Aishatu min as salihati. Saaltu anil muallimati. We also learned like salihatun. Now, if there is jama monas as salim, uh, it will be marfu with zamma or zammatain, and it will be mansub and majroor with kasra or kasratain. Right? And now this is what Shibhu Jumla, Jarun wa Majroorun, that is what Shibhu Jumlati. Jarun wa Majroorun, that is Shibhu Jumlati. Now this is what Li Zaydun Zaydin Ukhtun, as Sister Yanti told us. Now please remember this thing if Harfajar and the noun that comes at the beginning of the sentence, that is Shibhu Jumlati. And that is what khabar muqaddam and muqaddam. Yes, ukhtun that comes at the end. This is noun and this is what? Nakira. Muqtada Very good. Now you see, 
that uh, after shibul jumla ukhtun is what nakira it is not marifa fil mu'minin khairun nakira fil ghurfatay ghurfataini zuyufun this is what nakira lil mudiraini sayyaratani this is what nakira okay so in the case when shibhul jumlati that comes at the beginning of the sentence then the khabar that is what uh, this is khabar e muqaddam then mubtada mukhar lets comes later on and that is what a nakira not marif okay very good now let me ask you a few questions before we move further yes sister brothers and sisters can you tell me something about uh, manasarf or ghair mansarif anyone from you what is ghair mansarif sm has another classification mansarif and ghair mansarif oh ghair mansarif wo hote hain jin jo jin pe tanween nahi aati hai jo asma jin par tanween nahi aati hai सिर्फ यही है uh, और uh, इनकी जो uh, uh, इनके बजाय इनमें जो है कसरा uh, uh, के बजाय जो है वो पता से मजरूर होते हैं वेरी गुड आप ये कह सकते हैं सिस्टर के गैर मुनसरफ वो हैं जिन पे कसरा और तनवीन नहीं आती एग्जांपल बता दें हमने ये बहुत लंबी इसकी एक्सरसाइज की थी अगर आपको याद हो जी जैसे आयशा आयशा टू आयशा आयशा तो आयशा तो कैन बी आयशा टू और आयशा था इट कैन बी आयशा थी और इट कैन नॉट बी आयशा तुन और आयशा तन और आयशा तिन it only can be aisha tu and aisha ta it means this is yeah. ghair munsarif and uh, because uh, in ghair munsarif there are two things either there is one sabab or do sabab two asbab they are uh, what uh, uh, of manasarf okay means one reason or two reasons of manasarf that uh, uh, means stops uh, to have तनवीन और कसरा एंड दैट नाउन सो दैट इज वॉट असबाब मनासर्फ ओके वी लर्न दैट इन डिटेल एंड आर वीडियोज आर ओवर देयर ऑन द यूट्यूब सो प्लीज रेफर दैम इफ यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड ये सिस्टर साइमा कैन यू टेल बी सम फ्यू वर्ड्स ऑफ गैर मुनसरफ वेरी गुड Sahara O and Sahara A, yes. And there's certain patterns that words fall into, and you know they can, they're the ones that do not decline to oh. the um, the the kasra. Okay, okay. So yes, very good. Yes, Sister Yanti, do you have some examples? Um, it's the proper names. Aisha Tu. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Aisha Ta. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Is that correct? Yes, Zainabu. What about Zainab? Zainaba. No. Zainabu. Can it be Zainabun and Zainabin or Zainabi? Zainaba. Hmm. For the for the proper because uh, it's it says several proper nouns. Um, yes, proper nouns, but actually those words they do not take either tanmin or kasra or, because of two reasons. of manasarf okay they may have two reasons in them that stops them from taking tanmin or kasra or the one sabab that is qaim maqab of two asbab that is what uh, in the place of two asbab of manasarf okay actually we we learned in very detail like this is what you can see arabul ismil mamnu'i min asarf Aisha to Akbar min Fatima. Now this is very important. You can understand. Aisha to is Muktada. There is no Tanwin. Only Zamma. Akbar min Fatima. Now 
Minfatimata. It's not Minfatimati. We have learned if the harf in Jara that comes before a noun that makes the Majroor. And what is the identification that comes Kasra or Kasratan? But now only Fatha. Marar to be Sahara. We can see. But one more thing I told you if Alif Lam comes before that noun, that is what? Gair Monsarit, that takes Kasra. If you remember, if Alif Lam comes before any noun that is Gair Munsarif, then it can take Kasra. Okay? okay? We'll repeat this topic again because uh, this was very at very initial stage, but we did a lot of examples. Okay? okay. Uh, uh, after, I think, uh, two and a half minutes, uh, this session will end, but we'll come back, inshallah. Right? So these are the sister, let me tell you, brothers and sister, these are the exercises that you have to fill in the blanks with uh, appropriate huruf jara like al-qalamu desh al-talibati, al-nuqudu desh al-mihfadati. Yes, what is the meaning of al-mihfadati? Um, wallet. Uh, wallet. 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 Harir. Silk. 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 Al Matbakh Kitchen. Kitchen. Zaharatin. Rose. 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 Eh, um, Zahra. Rose and flower. 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 Al Qitari. Al Qitari is a train. Train. Al Qayratu. Um, birds. Birds. Plain, plain. Plane, plane, airplane. Airplane. Oh, airplane. Sorry. Yes. Ta -iron, ta -iron is a word. Uh, Asra'u. Fast. More fast. fast. Speed. Speed. Faster. Is the hamun. It's the hamun. Crowd. 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 Are uh, Rajiun um, come back returning? returning. Okay, are Return. those they come back? Okay, okay. Najihun successful. Successful. Al Mubarati. Al Al Mubaratun is a com um, match contest. Mm. A sajjadati? Carpet. Carpet. Hitting. Carpet. Very good. Very, very good. Very good. So, mashallah, you know the vocabulary. Keep spending your vocabulary. Now, this the is also... Is, this is also... Yes. Al-Malik. What is the meaning of Al-Malik? King. 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 Al-Mistaratu. Ruler. Ruler. Al-Hariso. 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 Al-